Trading commodity futures and option comes with more moving parts than equity derivatives. In equities, most contracts follow a common set of rules. In commodities, the rules change depending upon what you are trading. Expiry dates, cut-off times, and even how contracts are settled can differ from one commodity to another. Take gold and crude oil. Gold futures are physically settled. As contract nears expiry, it enters a tender period, which means any position can result in physical delivery. To prevent this, trading in gold futures is stopped before the delivery process begins. Gold options add another layer. Unlike equity option, which expires alongside futures, gold options are monthly contracts. If the related future contract expires in the following month, the option expires seven trading days before the future expiry. If not, they expire on the last trading day of the month. Crude oil, on the other hand, works very differently. Crude oil futures are cash settled with no delivery or tender period. Positions can be held right up to expiry and are settled in cash. Crude oil options also follow their own schedule, expiring two days before the underlying future contract. When every commodity has its own set of timelines and rules, keeping track of all this quickly gets overwhelming. To make this simpler, we have added the MCX Info widget on Kite Web, which brings all the key contract details together in one place. You can access it by clicking on any MCX contract in your watch list and selecting info from the context menu. At the top of the widget, you will see the most important dates. Expiry shows when the contract expires and you can switch between different futures and option expiries for the same instrument directly from here. Last trading day is the final day you can trade the contract. This is usually the same as expiry, but it can differ in cases like an unplanned exchange holiday. Trading allowed until shows the exact cut-off time for trading that contract on Zerodha. For physically settled commodities, trading stops before the tender period begins, since physical delivery isn't supported. Below this, you will find FNO data for the selected expiry. This includes future open interest percentage change, lot size, ATM strike, and implied volatility, PCR for market sentiments, max pain, and the PL impact of one rupee price move. You can also compare futures price across the current, next, and far month contract in a single view. As expiry approaches, the specs and expiry timeline section becomes especially important. It clearly shows the last day overnight positions are allowed when the contract becomes intraday only. ITM and CTM expiry behavior, auto square off timings, and how positions are handled at expiry. For physically settled contracts like gold, you can see exactly how positions are squared off before delivery. For cash settled contracts like crude oil, the timeline is simpler. You will also find the full contract specifications in one place. This includes trading hours, quality standards such as 995 purity gold bars, pricing references like X Warehouse Ahmedabad for gold or the NYMEX reference rate for crude oil and the complete settlement process. The MCX Info widget is currently available only on Kite Web and will be available soon on the app. The widget is currently not supported for agricultural and indices contracts on MCX. If you have any questions or feedback, please post them in the comments below. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Brokerage will not exceed SEBI prescribed limits.